So I don't really have a very good way to cut this chunk off. The saw setup would be a pain. So I'm just going to base mill down uh, to get rid of this material. These are all roughed in now, so I'm just going to put them back in and finish this face and this face. Um, and then from there, we will do the slot. So I already have the depth set, and I have the zero set on this wall. Time to drill some holes for the end mill to do the slots. So the first hole I'm going to drill at zero, um, which is just about right up at the shoulder right here. I'm going to use a 3 16th stub drill and then I'm going to come up here to 1 inch 16th and drill that side out. going to put the larger slot in here it's 5 16 diameter slot so what I'll do is bring my quill down and touch off I already have my Z height set to zero so I'll just come and touch at the face 
and then move down I'm going 190 deep so there I'm touching then I'll just feed down plunge into it until I get the 190 Okay, now I'm going to feed it across and open the slot up. So that would be the top slot for a number 10 socket head. So we'll do the other three and then the through slot, which will be 3 16 I'm set up here to do the five degree angle on the side that's going to then get a hole to actually use as the clamp. So what I have here is a five degree angle lock and I have it sitting on a parallel down in the vise and I'm just going to lightly rest my part against both parallels and slide it along until I contact this stop and then tighten my vise. Um, it's probably not the most ideal setup for this but it is going to help me achieve what I need to achieve here. So here are my clamps all done, got the holes tapped in there. Um, I decided to add a level of precision here and I am going to stack them all up 
and surface grind this area so that they're all at the same level. I think they're all probably pretty close, but this will just make them a little more precise. And then I will call this project done. I have these all ground up now. They should all be parallel. I'm putting the screws in and calling the job complete. I'll be using these eventually to make a tooling plate from aluminum. Uh, this would be to face the plate on the Sherline mill. So I hope the video was enjoyable. It was a nice little project. Um, stay tuned for more.